Well, I'm leaving the mountain here. Leaving my friends. Leaving Cloudcroft. Truth is, I'd already left. Just hadn't got my stuff. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Mm. Me, I'm good. Kind of bittersweet. I'm leaving my friends here that gave me a place to stay in Cloudcroft. Um, didn't know it quite affect me the way it did. But it's alright though, it's alright. I'm going to get to see them again. They're going to come visit me at the new base camp in Arizona. The purple tiny house is behind me. Uh, I'm blocking them on this uh, road right here. Give anybody that we meet kind of a heads up that we're coming. Got some pretty good movers, good folks. Got a big day. I got 350 miles to go. We'll take you with us. There's that purple tiny house. I, I see our house behind us, Daddy. Well, it's got wheels under it now. We're going to leave the beautiful tall pines for the high altitude desert. Well, had to get some fuel here at Cloudcroft. Tiny house fits underneath the awning. Yeah, I think this is the better fit. All right, we didn't want to run out. No. I was curious, we made sure we'd fit under this thing. Yeah. We were blowing black smoke coming all the way up the hill too, so it's definitely using a lot of fuel. Right. Can you get a barn, a lofted barn underneath these canopies like this? No, not this one. Just the cabin? Yeah. It's close enough. Don't see that every day. got kids with them so they pulled over for a bathroom break everything's hauling good so far except uh, door 
keeps opening even though it's locked and the building gets out of square when it's moving and the door opens so he tied a string to it to the railing but they'll be coming along shortly we got a long ways to go it's already mid late afternoon man we got out of the mountains and stuff and it got hot yeah yeah it's really hot what happened to your air conditioning daddy um compressor went bad Ooh, why didn't you fix it been busy tuck been busy Well, I just, well, I just got my best fuel mileage ever. I went 192 miles, and uh, here's a screenshot of my math. Thirty-two miles per gallon. I'm behind a purple tiny house, and it's kind of a wind block, and I'm doing 55, 60 miles an hour. Thirty-two miles per gallon out of my tracker. That's amazing. Pull over. Get it, boy. Get it. Get it. Get it. Pull over and use the bathroom. At 800 feet, take the I-25 north ramp to Socorro. <laughs> Hitting some rain. Take the I-25 north ramp. Running out of daylight, y'all. Still got 150 miles to go. Isn't that beautiful? Y'all getting that right? And yes, I did use Rain X on my windshields. Pulled over here. We got some kind of problem. So what's the problem, boss? Well. Door keeps coming loose. Maybe my knots just not as good as I think they should be. <laughs> I go back to the voice I got I got a shed mover, not somebody, not a navy yeah. man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna watch some of those videos where you learn how to do the knots, but you know we're not we're not pro. I'm gonna let the dogs out again. All right. Let somebody out to use the bathroom. Somebody ripped one and peeled the window tent off. Was it you, Tuck? Man, I gotta go. Go. It was me. It was me. Baby May May. Baby May May's. Martinis. Baby May May over here. All right, everybody potted. I hope. Probably our last stop before we make it home. Well, everybody, it's the next day. That rain, oh my gosh. But uh, the, the doorknob, it did stay tied. No water got in the building. Um, we got about 20 miles from the RV base camp here in Arizona. He's got a 6.0 power stroke diesel engine in that Ford pick them up truck what are they known for blowing head gaskets guess what it did blew a head gasket we uh he uh what's the word drug he got here in the buildings here uh, everybody's wore out everybody's beat they left the truck they left the trailer. They left the purple tiny house on the trailer. Uh, his daughter came and got them all. And uh, they're coming back today and uh, get the building leveled up. I feel so bad about him on his truck engine. But he said, well, he's kind of looking for an excuse to bulletproof it. And what bulletproofing is, is fixing everything that Ford did wrong and making it better and stronger. There are kits available. So he's got three trucks. Two are down. But that's why you have a backup to a backup to a backup. Felix has been working on the woof woof wagon all morning, getting it vacuumed out. You got a you got a new name for uh, the woof woof wagon? Betty White. Trash bag. Uh. Betty White. 
So he's getting it all cleaned up. That didn't work. A lot of room in there. But I had a freezer on the front porch. So I plugged it in to, panning slowly, to my RV. So as to keep my food from going bad. Had some frozen food over at my friend's house there in New Mexico. So Jerry's here. He's, he's uh, put some gas in the in the mule. Any idea what happened to that 6-0 last night? Because you were smoking pretty good. I was behind you. I think somebody was pushing it too hard. That was that, <laughs> that geo tracker was pushing that bumper? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. This man some right. Some kind of red car. I think right. it was my heavy foot at the end wanting to get home too, though. Yeah. So. Th yeah, th this man good. right here, he can drive through any type of weather. <laughs> he, he can do it. So just uh, the six O's just have that weak head gap. I've heard of people uh, sending the head bolts through the hood of their trucks oh, really? when they well, go. I had, we didn't have that, thankfully. So we, we <laughs> were still able to drive it about a good hour before the, uh, right. you know, the end here. And so still the, you think thing was definitely smoking. It was most, it's not really smoke. It was steam is what it is because that head gasket blew out. What it is, but you're right. You know the 6.0s. They right. do what they do. So that 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 one diesel engine almost ruined Ford. I know it took out some uh, some dealerships and their, stuff. Even their next engine, 6.4, it wasn't much better. Well, you know they they had it they had it perfected at the 7.3. Yeah. But they didn't uh, the emissions. Yeah, they they couldn't meet emissions, but yeah. the 7.3 is the yeah. still the king. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I think you're right there. So they did. They out. Well, I guess eventually, I don't know if that 6.7, it's obviously supposed to be a lot better, but I don't know if it's totally worked out yet. God told us a while ago we'll to see. bulletproof this truck, and this, yeah. is, this is a prime example of we're going to do it now. <laughs> well, you, know, you better rebuild it because uh, all that might might be available sooner. I can, I'd like to see a battery powered truck pull this thing down the road. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Got it level.
Okay, building is level. The Morelands are, are pulling out of here. Bye-bye, thank you. back this long sucker out on the highway. The truck's running. So he's gonna get it back to the shop and start working on it. The Morelands. That man can drive. All right, well that's gonna make today's video. So I'm gonna end this one where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. And Jesus Christ, he's my savior. See you next time. Let me know in the comments below how did this win might work. Bye.